Why is Sudafed behind the counter? President George W. Bush. This is Farm D. Vic. Y'all ever heard of Breaking Bad? Well, if you haven't, I'll give you a quick overview. So the dad from Malcolm in the Middle gets cancer, and they tell him he's going to die in a few months or something like that. After this, he then decides to sell crystal meth with the guy from the Need for Speed movie. Why? One, to make money for his family before he dies, even if it means killing people from other families. And two, nothing says I'm going to leave a positive impact on the world before dying, quite like selling a drug that causes rotting teeth, hallucinations, addiction, and death. So you may be asking, how were they able to sell meth? Well, they made it. How did they make it? Well, they got an RV and began cooking it with pseudoephedrine. Pseudoephedrine, known by the brand name of Sudafed, is a nasal decongestant that constricts or narrows blood vessels, helping relieve congestion in the nose. So what does this have to do with meth? Well, here's the chemical structure for Sudafed, and here's the chemical structure for meth. As you can see, they are almost the exact same chemical structure. In Breaking Bad, Hal from Malcolm in the Middle used iodine and phosphorus, which is very dangerous by the way, to create meth with generic Sudafed. As a result of how easy it is to make meth from Sudafed, the United States government passed the Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act of 2005, with President George W. Bush signing the bill into law on March 9, 2006. The bill limits the amount of pseudoephedrine a person can buy in the span of a day, and in a month. This is why you have to go to the pharmacy and they have to scan your driver's license or ID in order for you to purchase it. Essentially, when you sign that waiver on the keypad at your pharmacy, you're promising the government that you're not going to make meth like Hal from Malcolm in the Middle, or you'll go to jail. Moral of the story, don't be Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Just don't do it. What are your thoughts on this video? If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is a Viceroy Flair production, and this is Farm D. Vic.